Hello Capricorn and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy and I'm so happy you're here with me today. Today's reading is going to be for Capricorn. So if you've got any placements in your chart of the Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus sign Capricorn, this is your reading. Remember that it is a general reading so please take what resonates and leave the rest. This reading is of course going to be for the month of February. So as you can see, I've got the cards laid out in front of me. These are all the energies, oracle cards, and tarot cards that I will be using for your reading today. And we are going to start with your current energies. So along with the current energies, I'm also going to, at the bottom of the deck, touch upon a little bit of what just is passing through that's brought you to the current energies today. So let's get right into your reading. It is going to be a little bit longer, so please relax, sit back, have your favorite cup of tea or coffee, or whatever makes you happy, and we will proceed. So, spirit angels and guides, for our beautiful sign Capricorn, what are the in what are the current energies for Capricorn? What are the current energies for Capricorn? Let's see, thank you very much, spirit angels, guides. And there we go. So these are your current energies. So we're going to start with the ones, and then we're going to leave the one on on. on unfolded to the end. Okay, so at the bottom we have man holding heart. Number 45. So this energy could very well be your energy. Let's keep in mind, like I've said, man, woman, prince, king, queen, those are energies, not gender. So man holding heart is your energy. There is something that you're doing with love here. And I will get into more of that as we move forward. The second card you got was number seven, community. So this is really collaborating with a community of people that are like-minded. It's feeling a sense of support systems in your community, whether that's colleagues, friends, family, but it's a community of people that are there to celebrate in the joys. Once we get into the tarot, we'll get a little bit more there. Now you also got number 51, healer of the ages. This is the healing energies. This is being able to heal things from the past or heal things that are currently going on to help build a stronger you. And wow, and this beautiful card is your third energy currently happening, number 16. This is about patience. She is the angel of patience. She brings peace, balance, and a lot of harmony. But everything is in divine timing. Sometimes there's things that we cannot rush. Sometimes it has to play itself out so that things are moving along in the right direction. And that's why there could be some healing energy here. So let's get right into the tarot. So let's get right in and delve deep to find out about these energies that are your current energies. So let's start with community. So spirit angels and guides, what would you like to tell us about the energy of community for Capricorn for February? We've got a community here. What would you like to clarify for us with the card of community? Thank you very much. Thank you. Is there any more? That, yep. And there we go. So we're going to take this one first. Four of Swords. Now, Four of Swords is about healing energy. It's about taking some time off for you. January was a very, very impactful month for you, Capricorn. It was an extremely busy, abundant month. And there's times when things are so moving along so rapidly, so quickly, and so much coming in that it's time to take a little time out and really start nurturing yourself, nurturing your health, making sure that you feel good, getting the rest that you need. Because, you know, it's, it, it's so important that we rebuild our own resources inside, internally, emotionally, mentally, and physically, so that we can continue to move down that path of abundance. Now, you also got the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords is all really about indecision. It's about knowing that you need to make some sort of a decision, but not feeling as if you've got all the information that you need to make, make it right, right now. Hence why you might have this healing energy and this patience. Again, these are your current energies. So there is some sort of decision that needs to take place and you need to remove that blindfold because once you're able to make this decision, you'll feel this sense of rest. You'll feel a sense of recuperation. 
And it might have something to do with a project, something that you've been working and collaborating with somebody. You know, you, you've been putting in a lot of hard work with this community of people. And maybe there's decisions that really need to come, come to play. And I'm not shocked to see it, Ace of Coins. This is all about opportunity, prosperity. It's about some sort of new, new venture that you are embarking on that is going to bring you prosperity. It's in its beginning phase, phases, but this feels like a sense of victory. Look at her arms are spread out in the, in, in the letter V to show that I am, I am leading towards success here. Something new but there is some sort of decision that you need to make and you need some clarity so you can remove that blindfold. You need to get some rest because that decision can't be made until you get a little bit of rest to really meditate and think about what it is that you need to do in order for this ace of coins to start to, to, to come into fruition for you. And this could have, again, something to do with a community of people. You know, there also could be some sort of a celebration here as well. Um, a cel uh, these community of people could be celebrating this new victorious um, opportunity that's coming your way. So now let's get this healing energy. Let's find out for the healer of the ages. Why do we have this healer of the ages here? Spirit Angels Guides, what else can you tell me about this healing energy? Thank you so much. This is for Capricorn. So we're going to do them this way. So the first card that came up was the Four of Cups. Four of Cups is about discontentment, being dissatisfied, not feeling, really not having the energy, feeling a little bit lethargic not looking at this ace of cups or this big cup that's full, this opportunity, kind of blocking ourselves or tuning ourselves out of that because we're focusing on the three cups that have spilt over. But there is definitely something new that's wanting to come in, but there's some sort of healing that needs to pl take place. The healing could very well have a lot to do with this two of swords energy where it's just wanting some clarity so that you can make a very decisive decision to move forward. And right now you're feeling a sense of discontentment because there's something that is blocking you from moving forward and it needs some healing. It needs some time. And then you got number two, the high priestess. So high priestess is all about using your intuition, trusting in the guidance of your inner light, knowing that your intuition is on high alert right now and that you should be using it to guide you in the right direction. It's really about, can be about withholding information or feeling a sense of secrecy. It's something that hasn't come out into the forefront. It can be our subconscious a little bit. So there could be some healing energies here as well, here as well for you that you really need to start really being a little bit more intuitive and trusting your inner guidance. It will help relieve this sense of stagnancy, this sense of not going anywhere, the sense of feeling indecision and not liking that feeling. Being able to release it with the healing energy and using our intuition to guide us on a new path, new journey. And then a beautiful, and to end that little grouping with the healing is you got the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is about feeling that sense of a completed cycle where you're feeling the happiness, the joy, the family, the, the kids, the, the love, uh, feeling good in your place, in your home, and spreading that joy with others, not just keeping it for yourself, but being able to spread that joy because you know that your intuition is guiding you in the right direction with confidence and self-esteem and feeling, really feeling this great um, sense of, of joy and being able to really heal the energy of not seeing, you know, not seeing that full cup, starting to see, hey, I have so much to be grateful for. I have so much gratitude here, so much appreciation. I need to focus on the wonderful things that are coming in and be able to heal the things that were not working for me in the past. So then you also got patience. So let's find out what they mean by patience. So everything is gonna come in divine timing for you but you need to have a little bit of patience. Spirit Angels Guides, anything else you'd like to share with us here? Thank you very much. So the first card that came out was the Four of Coins. Fours are all about stability. 
And you being Capricorn, you like the sense of stability. You work very hard to maintain that sense of security and stability in your life. This is holding on tightly to that stability. Sometimes we hold on so tightly that it doesn't allow us to transform, uh, to allow for transformations to take place. So it's really important sometimes for us to look at things from different perspectives and be able to release some of that energy and, and that holding on so tight so that we can open up doors to new opportunities. But right now you're feeling a sense that you need to hold on tightly to something. And the reason you're holding on tightly to something is because you got the tower. And the tower is number 16. And this is about a disruption. So there is some sort of sudden change or some sort of disruption that's happening. But the reason that this is happening is because sometimes we need sudden things in our life to happen in order to bring a new way of thinking or a new, to, to revisit something in a new way. And what Spirit is saying here is you're holding so tightly onto your, the ways you've been thinking and the way that you've been doing things, but we need to change something here because when we change this, we can grow in a different direction that might bring you more abundance. We don't want to be stagnant. Again, that's a lot of that Four of Cups energy, kind of staying in the place that you're at and not looking at the cup that's so full because sometimes it can be a little scary when we are not quite sure what direction it's going to lead us in. So something is going to change abruptly that is going to bring about a new sense of transformation for you. And then you also got the Two of Cups. So when we see the Two of Cups, I think the first thing we think about is soulmate connection. We think of partnerships. We think of love. And I, I do believe that, you know, there could be some of you that are you know, really holding tightly on to a relationship. And the relationship might need to have some changes happen in it in order for you guys to grow in a completely different direction. So there could be some changes um, with some of your relationships. And, and I think that these are actually positive changes. Although the card doesn't look positive, it's, it's really, you know, throwing out those old belief systems of control and feeling trapped and starting to bring together this peace, balance, and harmony with the patience card here and really bringing that, the, t the togetherness back because we have to remember here, at the base of your reading, you have the man holding heart and this is your energy. There's a lot of love in this reading. There's a lot of love here and your decisions your decisions for February have a lot to do with heart and emotions. So let's look and, and go back a little bit. So there was a storm warning here. So there was some sort of disruption that was kind of taking place and it looks as if it was taking place with, and this could be the two, why you got the two of cups. So we've got woman holding coin, storm warning, and man holding coin. So there was some sort of disruption or some sort of storm that was brewing. And it had to do with some sort of journey. Having to leave the past behind and embark on something new, making some sort of decision. So I'm feeling like, for some of you, and again, it'll resonate with, with people differently, but it could be you and your partner having a little bit of a, of, of a, a stormy weather because there's some sort of new enlightenment and new journey that you are to take place in and you haven't quite been able to make that decision. You're still at an impasse trying to figure out which direction to go. But the thing is, this new direction has the opportunities of building a lot of success, something very new for you. And it's something that you can't just not focus on. You need to really look at this square in the eye and really use your intuition to help you because you have that 10 of cups coming. And I do believe that this is a decision you will be making as partners. And, I, and I'm taking it as partners in more of a romantic love partnership although it can be business and it can be family partners as well. But this is definitely soulmate connection. In with having some patience, you will be able to really secure your foundation because you're going to change things up so that you can really bring that balance, peace, and harmony with your relationship together. I see a lot of happiness here. I see some, some moments where there is going to feel a little bit of a, a disruption, but it's really going to all end in your favor, especially with that Ten of Cups. So that's your current energies. Now let's get your incoming energies. Let's find out what's happening for you 
as we proceed through February. So Capricorn, Spirit, Angels, and Guides, what would you like to tell us about the incoming energies for Capricorn for February? Ah, let me just do that again. Start that again. All right. Incoming energies for February for Capricorn, please. What are the incoming energies? Okay. Goodness. All right, you've got, you got quite a few. I'm going to read the ones that came up first, and then we're going to save those beautiful ones for the last. So we got number one, passion ignited. This is like the Ace of Wands. This is a new opportunity opening up. This is coming in. We know that it's coming in. We've got the Ace of Coins here. We just haven't made the decision. But your passion is going to be in, ignited, and you're going to want to really take and absorb this new opportunity. And with this opportunity, you got the four, um, the four uh, foundations and achievements. Look at the rainbow. You've got the rainbow of all those beautiful colors illuminating the sky, and it's bringing you all of this luck and all of this sense of stability, because fours are about securities and a sense of stability. And you did get four, there's four fours here in your reading so far. So feeling that sense of stability, this passion ignited is bringing you a sense of celebration, a sense of relief, a sense of happiness and contentment. Now, all of this is going to come because there is a disruption. And again, we saw that disruption with the tower here. It is a sudden change. Something has to change. You cannot continue going down the same road. We have to embark on a new journey. And that's that journey that is causing a little bit of conflict because it, it's a journey that you have to take on, but you can't only think of your own feelings. You've got to think of the feelings of someone else who's important in your life. So this disruption card is coming because it's coming to really open up your perspective on things and really open up a whole new opportunity for you. And the reason this disruption is happening is because you got number 15 temptation. This is the devil. This is the devil comparable to the devil, and it is the sign Capricorn. You are going through a major transformation, Capricorn, a transformation that is so, so incredible. It is opening so many new paths and, and journeys for you that it's really hard to really take it all in. This disruption and this change has to happen because you can no longer have this devil energy. You can't be tempted to, to go in other directions or um, do things uh, to try and control other people. We don't want to be controlling anything. We want to be able to only control the things that, that are meant for us to control. We don't want to feel trapped anymore. And that's why you're getting this disruption card. We're saying goodbye and ending this temptation. And what is that bringing you? It's bringing you the three, recognition and reward. You are going to feel as if you know, again, it, uh, again, when you look at community, I really feel that you are going to get some recognition for a job well done. That passion that's ignited in you, the ace of coins embarking on a new chapter of your life and starting something new towards your prosperity is going to bring you this re rec uh, recognition and reward. You're expanding your horizons. Your ship is coming in. Oh my goodness. And what I love to see, and I need to show you this, because you got 15, temptation. You got 16, disruption. You got 17, hope. So we've got the devil, we've got the tower, and we've got the star. So no more temptation. That is abruptly changing because that has no sense of foundation in my life. It's ending. And now I have this hope restored, and I'm really feeling this sense of enlightenment and that I'm moving in the right direction. I am getting the re recognition and the rewards that I need and my passion is ignited. You are healing, your energy of healing, that is that star energy, it is that healing. Wow, that's all I can say is wow. Let's now get some clarifications for these cards. We're gonna start with the passion ignited. So spirit angels and guides for beautiful Capricorn. What is the passion ignited? Just one card would be great. We've got a lot of energies here that are coming in for you, Capricorn. This is your year, 2024, the year. All right. And again, it's very interesting. As you can see, your current energies, you had the Ace of Coins and the Two of Swords. Now, sorry guys. Now, you've got the Ace of Wands 
on the Two of Swords, feeling indecision, feeling like all the information you need is not there for you to move forward. You're looking for some sort of clarification for you to move forward on this new journey because this new journey is going to happen and you do not need to miss out on it. So now let's get a card for the foundations and achievements. Got a lot of achievements and recognition here. So whatever indecision you're having about starting something new, this is going to be released. It, it's going to come to an abrupt change because you are destined, haha, yes, you are destined, destined for this sense of a rainbow. And you got it with the magician, number one in the major arcana. This is being able to manifest all the things that you want and need in your life for your highest good. As above, so below. Number eight, it's the infinity sign here. Okay, so, you know, life is ever changing. You go with the flow. You've got all the tools you need to manifest everything that you want to come into light for you. And you are going to manifest them. You are going to release yourself from this indecision because you have the magic to do it right now. You have the tools. You have the tools at your fingertips. But always make sure you're doing it for your highest good. Now, I want to get these two together because I really feel like this disruption is happening, this change is happening to release you from that sense of feeling trapped, feeling that sense of indecision. So let's find out. Let's get one card for both of those. The temptation and disruption, please. If I could just get one card. Okay, I'm gonna, they're going to give me two. Wow. Again. The first card that flew out was number two, the High Priestess. This is a major arcana card. These are major influences going on in your life. Everything in your life is major right now. This is about listening to your intuition. You got the High Priestess here as well. You have the High Priestess twice in your reading. This is really about using that intuition, that light inside of you that's guiding you in the direction that you need to go. It's releasing the secrets of the Two of Swords. It's removing the blindfold and actually trusting in your intuition to guide you in the right direction. Manifesting the things that you need and the things that you want to bring yourself to that Ten of Cups, that happiness, that sense of completion. You also got number seven, the Chariot. This is a Cancer, uh, cancer card. This is really about setting forth on your chariot. And as you can see, as you can see, the Sphinx here, you're, you're, you're controlling the decision, but you're not, even, you're not even holding on to anything and you're moving in the right direction because you're using your intuition to guide you, to make the right decision. This card is about victory. There is victory and success coming your way and you're using your intuition to guide you. So now let's get this recognition and reward. Let's find out one card for recognition and reward, please. For Capricorn, this is for February. All right, you got two cards here. Okay, so the first card that came out, the recognition and reward, this is about expansion. And you are the Queen of Swords. You are coming through as the Queen of Swords. This is Libra energy. It's about balance. It's about truth. It's about honor. It's about really getting all the information that you need to make decisions. And you're making the decisions not with your heart. You're making them with your head. You're making them with the information that is being given to you. And this Queen of Swords energy is what is going to help release that Two of Swords energy with the blindfold so that you can reap the recognition and rewards. Now, along with that, you did get the Seven of Swords. So when we look at this card, this is really the most unattractive card <laughs> in the sense that it is a little bit about secrecy and deception. As we can see the fox here, we can see the person here. I don't know if you can see their expression is, you know, they're, they're trying to get away with something. This doesn't necessarily mean that it's your energy. What it could be is that you are really trying to get the, to the truth of something and you might be encountering somebody who is withholding information or keeping things secret. It could be somebody who's not looking out for your highest good, and they could be somewhat a little jealous because of the recognition and the rewards that you're getting because you are expanding and moving on into a new phase of your life. We always will have people in our lives that are not always going to uh, be happy for the wonderful changes that we make, especially once we become a little bit more abundant and a little bit more secure. So now let's get a card for the hope. Let's get one for this star card. Feeling a sense of healing, a sense of restored, a, a, a restored sense of, of hope. 
and beautiful card you got the knight of cups knights are about action and the cups are about love and emotions you are moving into a very harmonious happy and loving part of your life you're being offered love and it's like all of the all of the indecisions and maybe the storm warnings that you had with a partner are now being relieved and this offer of love is coming to to the forefront and it's bringing you a healing and a new sense of wonderment it's beautiful energy because you're you're not just going towards your passions and towards the monetary things and building security and building all of this financial abundance but you're bringing the abundance on a tot uh, on a total whole with bringing love into this for you as well so now let's ask spirit and angels i just want one card one card to kind of sum everything up what if you could give us one card angel spirits and guides one card for february what would your message be for capricorn let's find out what that message is what would you like to tell and look at that number 17 you got love love surrounds all your connections Move forward positively in all areas of your life. See all areas of your life. It's the totality of your life. It's the security, it's the monetary, it's the financial rewards, it's the new opportunities, and it's also love. Beautiful. We're in the month of love, we're in February. You are the man holding the heart. All right, so now that we have all those, we're gonna to touch upon something that you need to release because we do have some healing energy and there's always things in our life that we need to surrender to. So this is all about what is it that you need to let go so that you can move forward in February. So spirit angels and guides for Capricorn. What should they surrender to? All right, so what, what you need to surrender to for February is surrender the habit of people pleasing. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. Very, very important message because we do have to think of ourselves too and we don't and shouldn't ever feel guilty for putting our feelings as important because when we do that, we're able to give so much more. So that is your what you need to let go of. <clears throat> now we're going to, sorry, we've got so many cards here. You have lots going on. We're going to get the manifest uh, success cards. We're gonna find out about your money, money, finances and career. So let's find out spirit angels and guides which you'd like to tell us for the month of february for capricorn what is money career and finances one or two cards there we go we got two so you got light bulb so lucrative ideas new income source we've got that ace of coins we've got the ace of inspiration new income source inspiration there's new ideas new creativity happening here so your career you could be an entrepreneur you could be somebody who is either starting up their starting up a new business or revising an old business and really starting something new on a new level it's about a new job and it's about creative work you've got all the ideas flowing through your head now you're ready to put them into motion and you also got the eggs so eggs are about starting over saving up resources nest egg some of you could be planning for your future you could be putting money away for retirement or you could be an entrepreneur starting over starting something new a new venture and some of you could be in the lines of healthcare. some of you it's about new opportunities which we know there's been a multitude of new opportunities for you capricorn and for some of you it's about insurance and insurance is really about you know again making sure that everything is planned out properly it's really a lot of planning here and making sure that everything is taken care of it's a sense of security you had an incredible reading so to end this wonderful beautiful reading for february we're going to i'm going to use the angel number messages this is going to give us an affirmation as well as your lucky numbers for february so spirit angels and guides what is the lucky number and message you'd like to share with capricorn 
uh, for February. So let's see, what is that? What is that card that you would like to share with Capricorn? There we go. So your lucky number is 28. So it's called, I am a leader. You are a leader, Capricorn. So in an effort to accomplish great things, you recognize the value of working with others. You make a capable and compassionate leader who can bring people together and drive a team toward achievement. Maybe why you got your community card right at the beginning. Because you know that and you recognize that working with others really can bring a lot of success. So number 28. 28 is your lucky number. Look for any combinations of 28 throughout the month of February. And remember, you are a leader. Thank you, Capricorn, so much for joining me today. I hope that some of these messages resonated with you. And if so, please leave comments. I love to read them. You certainly have a lot going on for February, and I will be doing your mid-month as well, so we'll find out even more. I hope that uh, you consider subscribing, liking, and sharing the channel, and hit the notification button so that when I upload new videos, you will be the first to see them. Thanks again, and until next time, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.